The Cubs take on the Rockies, 3.10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The Colorado Rockies are minus 170, totals 11 and a half. And if you like the Cubbies in an upset on the road here, they're plus $1.45 for some money line cash. Now, they're also minus 135, catching the one and a half on the run line. Jake Arrieta's on the bump here for Chicago. Antonio Sensatella for Colorado. Now, we're 5-1 and one in our last six extra daily picks on my Patreon website. And if you want to access today's extra daily pick, it's only going to cost you just $2.99. We're also perfect 4-0 in our last four Major League Baseball tier package picks on my Patreon website as well. We currently have over 750 members who are signed up and active on that page. And if you want to see which one of these YouTube picks I'm actually betting on personally, the link for that site is in the description section below. That's patreon.com slash Brock Page. Now, Colorado won three out of their last five ball games. One of those victories was a 13-6 to win over these very Cubs. Now, the Rockies have also been really good at home this year, 34-21 and straight up at Coors Field. Colorado is in the top three in home scoring, and they're led by Ryan McMahon, who's hit 17 home runs and knocked in 55. They're taking on a struggling Chicago team, who lost six out of their last eight themselves, and they also played their worst baseball on the road. The Cubs have gotten the W in just 21 out of 57 road games. The Chicago lineup is being held under 7.3 hits a game when they travel. They also have Jake Arrieta on the bump here today. He's just 5-10 and 10 with a 6.20 ERA and a 1.66 whip. When it comes to the total on this one, Chicago's seen over 61% of their road games stay under the line. Meanwhile, Colorado's 31-24 and 24 to the under at Coors Field. I'm going to lean toward the Colorado Rockies, minus 170, and the under 11.5. Next ball game, Giants, D-backs, 3.40 p.m. Eastern start time. The San Francisco Giants are minus 165, totals 9 flat. Alex Wood for San Francisco, Merrill Kelly for Arizona. Now, Kelly's just 7-8 and eight on the season with a 4.38 ERA. The last place D-backs have the worst record in Major League Baseball, and they give up more runs per contest than any other team. They're taking on a first-place Giants club who won seven out of their last ten. And that includes uh, consecutive series victories over the likes of Houston and the L.A. Dodgers. Now, San Francisco wins 64% of their divisional games, they're also leading the majors in fewest walks allowed per nine. Alex Wood is 9-3 with a 3.83 ERA and a 1.19 whip. The lefties also fanned 105 batters in just over 98 innings. Now, total-wise, San Francisco has gone 27-20 and the over against the NL West this year. I'm going to lean toward the San Francisco Giants minus one and a half and the under nine runs. Next game, Phillies-Nationals, 4.05 Eastern Standard Time. The Philadelphia Phillies are minus 150, totals 8.5. Aaron Nola for the Fightins, Joe Ross for Washington. Now, Ross has struck out 100 batters already and has a 1.22 whip. And despite the Nats' struggles with Philadelphia here recently, their lineup's still in the top 10 in hits on average per game. Juan Soto is batting 295 with 18 homers. The outfielder is currently in the top 15 in the league in both batting average and OPS. This Washington lineup is also in the top three and fewest strikeouts at the plate. They're taking on a Phillies club who's winning just 42% of their ball games on the road. This Phillies pitching staff also tends to give up a bunch of hits. They're in the bottom 10 in road hits allowed per contest. Aaron Nola comes into today's start with six losses and a 4.30 ERA. When it comes to the scoring in this one, Philly went 60% to the over in their last 10 ball games, 4-2 to the over in their last six when traveling. Meanwhile, five out of the Nationals' last six home games got over the line themselves. I'm going to lean toward the Washington Nationals plus one and a half in the over eight and a half runs. Next matchup, Mariners-Yankees, 7.05 Eastern start time. The New York Yankees are minus 210, totals 9.5. And, 
Nestor Cortez for New York, Tyler Anderson for Seattle. Anderson's just 5-8 and eight on the year, along with a 435 ERA. This Mariners lineup is also dead last in the majors in hits on average per game. They're taking on a Yankees club who's on a two-game winning streak, and they also got the job done in seven out of their last nine. New York's in the top ten and fewest hits allowed at home. Their pitching staff is also averaging double-digit strikeouts a game at home as well. Nestor Cortez has a 1.93 ERA and a .95 whip. Now, total-wise, seven out of New York's last ten ball games stayed under the line. 28-25 and 25 to the under at Yankee Stadium this year. I'm going to lean toward the New York Yankees minus one and a half and the under nine and a half runs. Next ball game, Indians, Blue Jays, 707 Eastern first pitch. The Toronto Blue Jays are minus 190, totals nine. Ross Stripling for Toronto, Tristan McKenzie for Cleveland. Now McKenzie's just one and four with a 611 ERA and a 1.44 whip. The Cleveland Indians have lost five out of their last eight ball games, and they're in the bottom 10 in hits on average per game. They're taking on a Toronto club who really hits the baseball well. They're currently in the top three in the majors in scoring on average per game. Vlad Guerrero is hitting 322 with 34 homers and a league leading 85 RBI. Now, Vladdy's also leading the majors with a 1.063 OPS. This Toronto lineup's in the top three in hits. Ross Stripling's also averaging a strikeout and inning on the hill. When it comes to the number in this one, Toronto's 29-21 and 21 to the over as the home team. Meanwhile, Cleveland saw four out of their last six road games get over the line. I'm going to lean toward the Toronto Blue Jays minus one and a half in the over nine runs. Next contest, Pirates, Reds, 7-10 East. The Cincinnati Reds are minus 230, numbers nine and a half. Sonny Gray for Cincinnati, Will Crow for Pittsburgh. A Crow's just 3-5 and five on the year, 5-4-0 ERA and a 1.51 whip. The last place Pirates have the second fewest wins in the, in the uh, National League, and they score the fewest amount of runs per contest than any other team in the bigs. They're taking on a Cincinnati team who does a real nice job hitting the baseball at home since he's currently in the top three in scoring. And they're led by Joey Votto, Eugenio Suarez, and Jesse Winker, who all have 21 home runs apiece. Meanwhile, pitching-wise, Cincinnati's striking out 10.2 batters a game at the Great American Ballpark. Sonny Gray's got 96 strikeouts through just 76 innings of work. And when it comes to the total in this one, the Reds went 9-1 to the over in their last 10 outings, 3-0 to the over in their last three at home. Meanwhile, the Pirates are 24-19 to the over in their divisional games. I'm going to lean toward the Cincinnati Reds minus one and a half in the over nine and a hook. Next ball game: Royals, White Sox, 8:10 p.m. Eastern start time. The Chicago White Sox are minus two dollars. Totals nine and a half. Dallas Keuchel for Chicago. Daniel Lynch for Kansas City. Now Lynch is just one and three with a 6.95 ERA and a 1.68 WHIP. The Royals are 14 games under 500. They find themselves only two games ahead of the last place Twins in the standings. Kansas City wins only 33% of their road games, and they're scoring only 3.5 runs a game when they travel. They're taking on a first place White Sox club who plays their best baseball at guaranteed rate field. Chicago's 38 and 18 on their home field, and they're in the top three and fewest home hits allowed. Dallas Keuchel is 7-4 with 71 strikeouts on the year. The White Sox give up just 3.6 runs a game as the home team. Now when it comes to the number in this one, Chicago went 7-3 to the under in their last 10 ball games. Kansas City went 90% to the under in their last 10 themselves. I'm going to lean toward the Chicago White Sox minus 1.5 in the under 9.5 runs. Next matchup, Twins, Astros, 8-10 p.m. East. The Houston Astros are minus 240, totals 9.5. Frommer Valdez for Houston, Griffin Jacks for Minnesota. Now, Jacks comes into today's start with a 641 ERA and a 1.35 whip. The last place Twins 
have lost seven out of their last 10, and they win only 38% of their road games. They're taking on a first-place Houston club who scores more runs than anybody else in the majors. Jose Altuve, he's hit 25 bombs and knocked in 65. Meanwhile, Michael Brantley's leading the majors with his 332 batting average. Needless to say, the Astros are also leading the league in hits on average per game. They also have Frommer Valdez on the mound here today, 7-2 record with a 301 ERA. When it comes to the scoring in this one, Houston went 60% to the over in their last 10 outings, 31-23 to the over at Minute Maid Park. Meanwhile, the Twins are 69% to the over when they bat first. I'm going to lean toward the Houston Astros, minus one and a half. And the over nine and a half runs. And with that, guys, we're going to jump into our next and final ball game. It is going to be Braves versus the Cardinals, 815 East. The Atlanta Braves are minus 120, non, uh, numbers nine juice to the over. Tuki Toussaint for the Braves, Wade LeBlanc for St. Louis. Despite the recent struggles, the Cardinals are still 30 and 23 at Bush Stadium. They're also in the top 10 and fewest hits allowed at home. Now, St. Louis is in the top 10 and fewest runs allowed at home as well. They're taking on an Atlanta club who's averaging nearly double-digit strikeouts a game at the plate. This Atlanta lineup is also in the bottom 10 in road hits per game. Tuki Toussaint's just 1-2 and two with a 476 ERA. And total-wise, Atlanta went 60% to the under in their last 10 ball games, 31-23 and 23 to the under when they travel. Meanwhile, St. Louis is 31-17 and 17 to the under at Bush Stadium. I'm going to lean toward the underdog St. Louis Cardinals plus a dollar. And the under nine runs. But that, guys, now it's time for our quick pick recap. Power to you by my Patreon website. I like Colorado minus 170, under 11 and a half. San Francisco minus one and a half, over nine runs. Washington plus one and a half, over eight and a hook. New York Yankees minus one and a half, under nine and a half runs. Toronto minus one and a half, over nine. Cincinnati minus one and a half, over nine and a hook. Chicago White Sox minus one and a half, under nine and a half runs. Houston minus one and a half, over nine and a hook. Before I give you my next and final free pick for the video, one final reminder that we are five and one in our last six extra daily picks on my Patreon website. We're also 4-0 in our last four Major League Baseball tier package picks on that Patreon page as well. I'm going to lean toward the St. Louis Cardinals plus a dollar. And the under nine runs of that, guys, that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on Patreon. And just remember, if you guys end up getting a membership on my Patreon website, Patreon's going to bill you the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. The earlier in the month you sign up, the better. But most importantly, guys, got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. I really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. With that said, guys, happy Thursday to you. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, happy Thursday to you. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at patreon.com slash page.